I'm going to inject my hybrid. into the putty matrix like that. I'll set my capsule gun to the side. I'm gonna take an instrument and then just make sure I'm adapting the composite onto the putty matrix, creating this palatal wall. Then I'll use my IPC instrument to cleave away any of the excess material. Sort of like that. Now I'm gonna put this under my, in my resin keeper to keep it from getting like polymerized. I'm gonna come back with my flowable composite. I'm gonna layer it over onto the ribbon, just like this. Now, the other thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I get the composite to seal up those inset areas that I use for the uh, for placing in the ribbon. So I'm going to come in with my hybrid composite, or I could use my nanofill. Just run a little bit of material in there, a little material in there to make sure I seal that up. Take my putty matrix, bring it to the mouth. Now, what's important before I start light curing? I want to remove any excess material that I can. So I'm going to come in first with my multi-purpose instrument. I'm cleaving away on the incisal. Come with an IPC instrument. These IPC instruments from Cosmodent are awesome because they're so thin. They're like a tenth of a millimeter thick. You can really get into interproximal and open up the embrasures. I'm gonna dim my light a little bit. It's starting to um, my composite a little bit. So let me dim the light a little bit while I'm working with the composite. You can see as it's coming over top of the ribbon into the canine, just making sure that that blends in. And looking down from the incisal, I can see that the composite's blended in nicely onto the ribbon. In the mouth, I would use a mirror to make sure the same is uh, happening there on the lingual. And that's going to give me my shape and my contour. So the lingual wall then will be finished. I want to make sure, last thing, that I'm leaving space for that microfill composite along the facial. So as I look from the proximal, making sure that it's not overextended facially. Be something like that. I'm going to cure then for 10 seconds. Again, I've gone through with the IFPC to make sure that the embrasures are open. I'll gently remove the putty matrix. I can see my palatal wall. I'm a little underdeveloped towards the cervical, but I can add a little composite into there. At this point, I can make sure that my embrasures are open, that I haven't, I don't have too any excess that are flowing into there. So now we have that palatal wall created, and then we're gonna come in and then we're gonna do the mid body and build into the Teflon tape and then saving room for our facial composite.